so I'm not really sure where I should stand here. Um, I'll, I'll do this. Um, so this, just, this is a really big deal because we now have our two most important operators for de determining the most important things to know about quantum systems. So <laughs> that's going to hurt my knees. Um, so essentially every other observable we're going to be concerned about is built upon knowing the expected position and knowing the expected momentum. For example, if you want to calculate the kinetic energy, that's based on the momentum operator. If you want to calculate, for example, the potential energy of something, that will be based on the position operator. And then if once we introduce what we call the Hamiltonian, which is the combined energy or the total energy, it encompasses both of these things. So these terms shouldn't make sense to you yet, but the point is, in calculating these terms, to, to make them make sense, we will be using both of these operators just left and right. So it's important to, at the very least, be able to know that the momentum operator looks like that, and the position operator is simply found by putting an X inside there. And every other operator that we're going to introduce, as a well, every other operator we're going to introduce, it has exactly this form. Psi star, insert function, Psi. And finally, just to reiterate what, a, what an operator is, it is a question that we can ask. If you want to know what the position is, you throw that x, sorry, the expected position, you throw the x in that integral. If you want to throw the expected value of the momentum, you throw that thing inside that integral. And the nice thing is, when we properly derive these, and, and when we do it for energy and whatnot, we're always guaranteed to get out not only a result that is like that that has the right units, but it will always be a real positive result. Well, now I shouldn't say positive. It will always be a real result. For example, the expected value for a position might be a negative value, but the important thing is we're guaranteed to get out a real non-imaginary result whenever we insert the proper operators here. So I hope this has been kind of a, a fun dive into quantum mechanics. Uh, and honestly, the, the nice thing is I feel like this is about as complicated as it will get. I don't think anything we're going to do is more intricate than what we have just done. And so, like I've said, if you have followed along and if you have tried to work everything out and more or less understood it, then excellent. This is where you absolutely should be. So well done.